Welcome to the 448 series installation video. Today, we're going to install the soft close pullout with Bloom Tandem Slides. We will be installing our version in a face frame application. First, you'll need the following tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, a power drill with a 3 32nd inch drill bit, and an 11 32nd inch drill bit, Phillips head drill bit, an awl, a tape measure, an adjustable wrench or 3 8 inch nut driver, tape, and a hammer. In your box, you should find the following parts. Slides and slide straps, pull-out chassis, four number six half-inch flathead screws, 10 number six one-inch flathead screws, adjustable rub bushing kit, two door bumpers, installation template. To begin, assemble the mounting straps and attach them to the Bloom Tandem slides by snapping the plastic feet into the appropriate holes. Next, place the included mounting template inside of your cabinet. Use tape to secure your template to the bottom of your cabinet. The edge of the template should end where the back of your cabinet door will be. Use your awl to pre-punch the slide hole locations and then pre-drill the eight pilot holes using the 3 32nd inch drill bit. The slides are marked with an L and an R to their corresponding sides for ease of placement. Attach the slide assembly to the floor of your cabinet using eight of the number six one inch flathead screws. Also note that the screws will use the inner set of holes on the plastic feet. Next, we'll want to install the adjustable rub bushings in our face frame. For a one and a half inch face frame, use your 11 32nd inch drill bit to drill a pilot hole 3 fourths of an inch deep in the center of the face frame and at a height that will put the rub bushing in the center of your railing. With the slides in the fully closed position, Carefully place the pull-out chassis into your cabinet. Push the unit all the way into the cabinet to engage the slides. Now you will want to adjust the rear stop according to your cabinet height. Adhere the provided rubber bumpers at the top of the rear stop between the face frame and the stop. You can permanently secure the rear stop using the pre-drilled pilot holes and the two number six one-inch flathead screws. Loosen the four lock nuts located inside the front wall of the unit using the adjustable wrench or your 3 8 inch nut driver. Pull the adjustable door mounting brackets to ensure that you are mounting the thick portion of your cabinet door. Measure from the base of the face frame up to each AMB hole location and record those dimensions. Measure the entire door opening and record that value. Now measure the entire height of your cabinet door. In our case, we have a full overlay door, so the door is larger than the opening. No worries, we will just take the length of our door and subtract the door opening. Simply divide this number by two and you will have the dimension you need to add to the four AMB hole location dimensions you previously recorded. Measuring from the bottom of the door, transfer those dimensions to the door. Prior to pre-drilling, it is always a good idea to note the thickness of your door and add some tape to your drill as a guide to keep you from drilling through your door. Now let's pre-drill three 32nd inch pilot holes. Attach door with four of the supplied number six half inch screws. Precisely adjust the door skew by sliding the adjustable mounting brackets left or right as needed. Tilt can be adjusted by using the eight millimeter nuts and turning the T-nut screws so that it pushes against the metal bracket. Each corner is able to be adjusted independently. Your installation is now complete. 
Enjoy your product for years to come.